Hey, what's going on guys? Chris here from Scale Speed Garage, the number one place online for model car and truck 3D printing. Just wanted to give you a quick video walkthrough of SSG13. This is our latest file pack. Download available now for members of Scale Speed Garage. Uh, and this one is inspired by this amazing Rat Rod 1950 Chevy tow truck that you see on my screen here. Um, a whole file pack kind of inspired by retro uh, vintage towing equipment. So without further ado, let's take a look at everything that's included in SSG 13 the vintage towing file pack. Uh, so as you can see here, um, the base of this file pack is uh, this um, vintage wrecker body and the entire uh, tow equipment, the tow apparatus here. Um, and this is based off of the old Holmes Model 400 Wrecker equipment, um, and we have given you not just the, uh, what they called the deluxe style Wrecker body, but we have actually given you five different Wrecker bodies to fit a variety of model pickup kits, um, and we'll kind of talk about those as we go through them, but first off, this deluxe body here, um, you can see, um, has a very kind of sleek fender skirt thing going on, which is optional. Those are separate pieces, so you can choose to print it with or without the fender skirts. Um, we have toolboxes here in the bedside of the deluxe style body, um, and these lids, uh, these are actual toolboxes in here. Um, and these lids are hinged so that you can um, open these up, close them, however you'd like to display this model. You can do that with these hinged lids. Um, but you can see there is actually a toolbox inside too. Um, and we have those on both sides. I've marked those left and right for you. Um, but uh, yeah, just a... A uh, cool little feature there if you're using this in a diorama, especially um, just, uh, you know, a great place to add some additional detail. Um, and then we have the towing apparatus itself. Um, so this stanchion prints as one piece. The chain hooks and the spotlights and spotlight lenses are all separate pieces. This... Um, Strobe light, this uh, this warning light up here, two separate pieces there. Uh, the lens is a separate piece, so you can print that in a translucent resin of your choice to get like an amber lens or a red lens, whatever you want to do there. Um, I have linked to the transparent colored resins that we use for printing lenses like this, uh, red, blue, and amber lenses. I have linked to those in the instructions box just below where you download the file pack here. Um, <clears throat> so take a look for those if you're looking for good resins to print uh, emergency lights or work truck lights, that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> so the stanchion is one piece. The boom is one separate piece by itself. <coughs> Pardon me. The boom is one separate piece by itself here. Um, and a quick note on that, if you are having trouble printing these, um, these, uh, sort of braces on the boom, uh, if they if you're having trouble with those printing well, because I know they are kind of thin and long spans, then I have actually given you guys a separate, um, a separate boom here without the bracing. The bracing is just one one millimeter square, so you could use some one millimeter square um, styrene rod and print this uh, without the bracing and then add in the bracing after you print. Uh, so we have the boom, then we have the entire wheel lift apparatus here on the back. This is three separate pieces. This, uh, this sling bar, this wheel lift bar that goes across the front here. 
And there are some uh, slings as well, some sling straps for you to make some slings, some wheel slings. I will show you those in a moment. Um, so that is one piece. And then this um, arm here, telescopes, it does slide nice and easily in the sort of A-frame here uh, so that you can adjust this to your needs. Um, and then we have the A-arm itself, the, uh, the lift arm itself here. Um, and this is... Um, does have holes running th here through the pivot points. Um, and I gave you these nut and bolt ends. This is one piece here. Uh, prints real small, but what I've done is I have made the uh, bracket and the wheel lift arm itself uh, with a hole running through it. So if you want this to be able to pivot, you can use some one millimeter round aluminum tube or styrene rod um, and you can cut that to length and use that as your pivot hinge and then you can cover the end with the little nut and bolt end there as well just to really finish that off um, <clears throat> so separate pieces there <coughs> and a tow hook this is a separate piece as well all right, and then um, we have separate taillight lenses here for you as well. Again, these can be printed in uh, red resin. And again, I've linked to those down below. Um, and then some other accessories here. Get this boom out of the way. Uh, some jerry cans. If you were around uh, for the Bronco upgrade kit, these jerry cans are a little bit different than the ones that came in that kit, just in terms of size, they've been resized just a hair so that three of them will fit between the uh, braces on the stanchion here. Um, and then if we get rid of those, you can see the beautiful detailed winch back here. Um, and that is multiple pieces as well. Um, and I will show you those here in just a second. You can see I've even given you uh, clevis pin details here on the stanchion. Just another thing that, uh, a, a small thing that really stands out when people uh, look at your model real up close. That's the kind of details that will uh, win model shows, win model contests. Um, so I love throwing little details like that in there for you guys. Uh, there is a the, the pulley here on the stanchion is a separate piece as well. Um, but then let's go ahead and take a look at that winch. Uh, so the winch is multiple pieces here. Uh, it's got a base plate that um, attaches to the bottom uh, tube of the stanchion itself. And there is a little locating peg there to make that easy for you. Um, and then the um so there's the base and then there's the plate that it all sits on that fits into the base um and then we have the support or the gantry as one separate piece there we go um so you'll see that that does have uh, a little recess there for the end of this winch drum and then the drive, the motor portion of the um, winch as well, also a separate piece. Um, and you'll see that that has a peg on it and the end of the winch drum is recessed to accept that peg. Um, and then you'll see the uh, gantry or the winch support has uh, sort of a recess that it sits into and then the drive unit has a locating pin here uh, for <clears throat> ease of assembly. Um, and the idea is that uh, the winch drum has a hole here. You can rig this whole thing up with some real fine wire, some jewelry wire, um, Hobby Lobby or any sort of hobby store or craft stores jewelry section is a really great place to find stuff like that. <coughs> 
and so you can glue the end of your wire in here you can glue the winch drive and the winch drum support in place but leave the winch drum able to turn and then you can actually once the glue has set up on your the end of your wire you can turn that drum to coil some wire around the drum for some extra detail there um, and then also speaking of the uh, jewelry section at the craft store uh, that's also you're also probably going to want to grab some jewelry chain um, the original wrecker unit here would have chains running from these hooks on top of the stanchion uh, that would then hook over these uh, holes in the plate on the end of the boom here um, so that's another great opportunity to add some uh, really in-depth detail there uh, so that is a look at the uh what they call the deluxe style body this deluxe style body is your short wheelbase body this was obviously because it was inspired by this um by this specific truck which you know there is the very popular amt 1950 chevy pickup kit this bed was designed around that 1950 AMT Chevy kit. Um, so that is a direct fit for that kit. I have also confirmed that it is a direct fit for uh, the Revell 1964 and 65 Chevy pickup kits, the, the style side and the step side pickup kits. Um, and then also with a little bit of chassis or suspension alteration, um, it's also very likely to pretty easily fit the Ravel Ford Ranger kit, the 1980 Ford Ranger kit, uh, as well as the Ravel 1980 Jeep Honcho kit and some others, um, that, uh, that you may have in your stash. Um, if you are wanting to do something for a longer wheelbase pickup, we have you covered there too. So we've given you two more styles of beds, uh, two more West Coast, what they call West Coast beds um, for middle and long wheelbase trucks. Um, now, in reality, they're, they're both going to be kind of long wheelbase trucks. But what I found when I was going through a bunch of the truck kits in my stash is that there was some variation in the cab to axle length which is really what drives the uh the wheelbase on these because you need to have enough clearance obviously between the the cab and the center line of the axle for the front half of your bed to fit um and so the medium wheelbase and long wheelbases are actually very close uh the medium wheelbase uses a 53.8 millimeter um bed front to axle distance so this this uh front of the bed here to the center line of the axle medium wheelbase is 53.8 millimeters um and the long wheelbase is 57.7 millimeters um so both seem to be you know both sound pretty close to one another but i did find again that um there was some variation and having these two options should cover almost all of the bases for all of the 124th 125th scale pickups um, that are available in kit form um, with the obvious obvious exception of course of some of the real small ones like the the Dotson pickup for example you're probably not going to be able to fit this bed on um, some of the other um, real real small um, pickups you may not be able to fit the bed on but you can still likely fit the whole towing apparatus as uh, like a slide-in unit for a standard pickup truck bed as well so that's another option there for you uh, let's take a look at the first style of medium and long wheelbase beds um, and that is this sort of classic West Coast bed. Um, and again, this is available in two different wheelbases, the medium wheelbase and the long wheelbase. Um, so just a different style of bed, but it's still set up to fit the same 
towing apparatus. Uh, all of these beds are going to use the same towing apparatus here. This this sort of Holmes Model 400 stanchion and boom and the wheel lift and everything else. Uh, you will see here, we have also given you another style, a little bit more modern of a style of um, warning light. This one, uh, kind of the, the twin light bar style that you was, was commonly seen in like the 70s, 80s, into the 90s. Um, and again, three separate pieces here. Well, two separate pieces, the base and then uh, a file for the lens as well, which can be printed in your choice of translucent color. Uh, but again... Same, same whole setup as far as the apparatus goes, just a different style bed here. And again, this is available in medium and long wheelbase. Uh, the medium wheelbase is going to fit things like the MPC 1972 Chevy. If you don't want to build the, uh, the, the silly tandem axle uh, wedge truck, I know a lot of people have issue with the the tandem axle on that kit you can build that as a single axle kit and it's a great uh it's a great base for this medium wheelbase um west coast bed here uh other kits that this is likely to fit uh is going to be like the mobius 1965 uh ford truck the the service truck the shorter wheelbase truck there um, with any of these medium and wheel, uh, medium and long wheelbase kits, you are probably going to need to shorten the chassis, uh, behind the rear suspension to shorten that rear overhang. Um, just because again, you know, the sort of the dynamics of towing, right? You don't want to have a huge, uh, overhang behind your rear wheel. Um, so true to real life any of these medium and long wheelbase pickups, you're probably going to need to do some chassis alteration to make this bed fit. Uh, but that's why you guys are here because you guys are model builders and not just assemblers, right? Uh, so here is the first style of medium and long wheelbase uh, bed kits that we've given you. The second style, similar style, it's the same West Coast style, but it's a step side with fenders and uh, side steps here. Um, and this one is again available in the medium and long wheelbase variants. Um, and then there are some accessories here that you can use, you don't have to, uh, but these side grab rails are separate files that you can print and add to the bedsides if you like. Um, and then also these fender tail lights here um, are a great, uh, great option for you for um, doing some of the lighting. So that is a look at all of the um, bed and towing apparatus files that come in this file pack. Um, and then I did just want to throw you guys some other sort of vintage diorama type accessories that go along with this. Some th things that you can print to add some more detail to your tow truck build. Uh, so we have a bunch of different varieties of sort of vintage looking uh, tire irons, lug wrenches, those sorts of things. Um, so uh, let's see, seven of those. Um, and then just this cool vintage seven up cooler, um, I thought was a fun little thing, uh, you know, driving around in the tow truck all day, you probably want to have some, some cold beverages with you. Um, so you throw this in the back of the tow truck bed as well. Um, and just another great little detail for you there that is hollow so that you don't have to, you know, waste a bunch of resin printing that solid. Thank you for watching this video walkthrough of SSG 13. This file pack is available now for Scale Speed Garage members. If you are not yet a member and you want to learn more about us or join today, you can check us out at www.scalespeedgarage.com. Members receive monthly file pack downloads just like this one. They also receive access to video tutorials and how-tos, troubleshooting help and support, online calculators for 3D printing and model building, uh, as well as a community of other users that are also adding 3D printing to their scale modeling. Thank you guys. We'll see you again soon. In the meantime, happy modeling and keep building your dreams.